I'm Jillian Rose the Performer. I'm an American dancer, choreographer, and storyteller. Um, and first things first, I'd just like to say a big thank you to the Space Renaissance Initiative, and particularly Sabine Hines for inviting me to be at this conference. Uh, I'm super excited to be here. Um, and I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about the piece you just watched, which is called Gravitas. So Gravitas is essentially it's a performance, but it's really an experiment. Something I've been thinking about a lot recently is we, as we talk more and more and more about going to different planets um, and to the future of humanity in space, I keep thinking and wondering what happens to our movement? You know, the thing is, is like, you know, okay, who cares? Obviously movement is gonna be different, yeah, whatever, but specifically, dance what happens to our dance you know not just because i'm a dancer myself but also because dance is such an intrinsic basic part of how we celebrate and share our humanity you know you just look at any baby you play music and the baby is going to start moving to the beat you know um so it makes me think you know that the the experience of our heart beating the experience of rhythm the the feeling of stomping your foot into the ground, that's all very particular to these gravitational circumstances that we're, that we're living in. And when we move beyond that, what happens to these experiences? So essentially what I decided to do is see if I could simulate some different gravitational environments in my flat and, and dance and see what happened. Now, obviously, I can't simulate microgravity, but I can add a little bit of extra weight. So I taped bricks, essentially concrete bricks, to my forearms and to my calves. Um, obviously, it's not adding a ton of extra weight, but it's enough to be, you know, noticeable, significantly noticeable. Um, and then I figured that if I danced for long enough with these uh, cinder blocks attached to me that when I took them off my movement would be much lighter than normal. I did find that the movements that were kind of easiest and most well suited to this extra weight was kind of balletic which is quite interesting because actually the the point of ballet is to defy gravity, right? The point of ballet is to make it look as light and as effortless as possible um, and yet I found that with this extra weight, you know, um, obviously, you know, some of the, the leaps and the spins of ballet, you know, that was out of the question. But, you know, that kind of slow, controlled movement was, was the easiest. Um, and in comparison, when I was looking at it afterwards, you know, I found that, you know, the, the movement that where I was wearing the concrete blocks were we somehow more grounded, you know, the, the movement that after I took them off was, it was almost too, too light and, and kind of all over the place, you know, that there was something about that grounding of the, the heavier, you know, the, 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 the extra weight that, that kind of added what I would call gravitas, that solemnity to, um, to the movement. Um, and so I, I think, you know, in the end, I, it was easier than I expected to move. I did, I mean, definitely it was harder in the sense that I was working harder, you know, um, my, my muscles were working harder, I was sweating more, um, but, you know, it wasn't that it was so difficult to move. It was just more like I had to move to a slower beat which is kind of interesting because, you know, the, the more gravity we experience, the slower time moves. Um, and and the, the, when the cinder blocks, when the, when the concrete bricks came off, you know, it was, everything was faster and lighter, you know, I could move to that faster beat. So perhaps it's not that we lose our movement, we just have to adjust its rhythm to fit with the gravitational circumstances in which we find ourselves. I do think that it's something to talk more about, to investigate more about. Um, this was obviously just the beginning and experience. Um, and I'd be very interested to hear what you see and experience when you see the two versions side by side. But I think as a beginning, it's just um, gravitas, this piece, it's just a way of opening that conversation of saying, let's think a little bit more about this. Um, 
you know, where, what happens to this thing of, of shared joy and humanity when we are no longer in this gravitational environment. And that's just a little bit about Gravitas. Once again, a huge thank you to Space Renaissance Initiative um, for inviting me to be here. I'm super excited to see the other artworks and to hear the talks. Um, so thank you very much. Bye-bye.